going on legends welcome back okay so in this video let's finally add our social media icons into our website right here and then we can be done with it and uh, we can continue on with our HTML5 tutorial and talk about new tags and we'll include JavaScript and CSS3 and all that cool stuff okay so for this video let's pull up our index.html file should just be able to back it up there okay let's open it up with text editor of your choice and where do I want to put in our social media HTML tags? Let's do it right here, in between top nav and uh, our closing header tag. So we'll just call it div ID. There's no HTML5 for the. There's no HTML5 tag for social media. So we'll just go ahead and create a generic div ID, and we'll call this social. And we will close it out right here. Now this would be a great time to comment because we are using a closing div tag. And we'll just say that social media ends here. Okay, great. Give it a little space right there. Okay, so in here we want to have another unordered list item. So what I'm going to do is I'll just hand code it. And let's drop down a line right here. Close it out, and we'll oh, just do a couple of these. What do we have? We have RSS, we have Twitter, and YouTube. I'm surprised I didn't have a Facebook. Okay. So in here, we need to source in our images. Let's see if we can guess this. It's image source. Images folder forward slash Twitter dot PNG. Just like that. I hope. I hope it's just like that. Let's copy this. Let's paste that in there. And we'll paste that in there. But instead of here, instead of Twitter right here, let's go ahead and change this to YouTube. And we'll do RSS dot PNG. Let's see how this looks. Save it. And let's reload it. Okay, perfect. Well, it's perfect up until the CSS part, so let's go ahead and create some CSS now. Let's go ahead and open up our... And you guys will learn, um, as a web designer, you pretty much fool around with CSS all the time. I mean, there's really no right and wrong. Is there really a difference between 12 pixels or 13 pixels or you know 20 pixels and margin left to 22 pixels and margin left you just kinda of play around with it till you get your clients approval or your own approval so just keep that in mind there's really no right or wrong with CSS it's just whatever you like or whatever your client likes so what are we looking at right here we got our wrapper you know what we need to do go to our header right here and let's have this equal to logo. We'll set that to logo because all we really have inside of our header tags is just that logo of Village Park. So we'll save that. And let me look at this right under here. I want to get the CSS property logo of float left. We'll save that. Nothing should change. Okay, it did change a little bit. All we did right now it was. All we did right now is we grabbed this logo, we pushed it all the way to the left. So we can have this stuff right now go to the right of it. So it just doesn't stack all the way to the left and Village Park would be on top of this and then our nav bar would be underneath this. So now with that float left, we pulled this to the left. So now stuff can go over here. So let's go back to our CSS page and let's just kind of play it by ear until we get it right. What do we got? We got top nav UL. Okay. So what did we call, we call it social, right? We'll call it social, and we'll say float right. Save that, see how this looks now. Not good. Let's go back. Okay, let's go to float left, float right, we'll go to social. For our unordered list tag. And what do I want to do for this? Maybe margin top 
10 pixels. And then for the list items, let's go ahead and display in line, just like how we did with our navigation bar. Let's open this up. Not bad, but why is our border, our border top over here? Let me look at this again. Let's look at our HTML tags. Okay, I'm going to add another property to our top nav above our li, uh, our top nav li right here. Top nav, which means it's going to apply to the top nav and not the li or the ul. And we're just going to say clear both. Make sure you close it. And what clear both does is it's going to clear it up from this. CSS, which is our logo, as well as this, which is our social. So let's reload it, and that's what it should look like. All right, great. So finally, we're done with our social media icons. We can go ahead and add some content right here. Let's get our sidebar going. Let's get some JavaScript going. Let's make this look prettier and give this stuff shadows and introduce WebKit and yada, yada, yada. But so far, this doesn't look that bad, except that these don't have links on them. Um, we'll add links in the next video, but I'm kind of dragging with these videos, but keep this going. Hopefully you're learning a thing with every video. This video kind of went on long. I try to keep my videos under five minutes, but thanks for watching and we'll keep kicking butt and making a really good website. All right, guys, good luck. I'll see you over there.